It's the boy. Like this. Maybe I just... No. It's fucking dumb. It's the boy. Soul Taker 665. Back here with another unboxing from Japan of all people. Yeah, I'm getting... I'm I'm rising through the ranks. I'm, I'm out here talking to Mr. Aizawa. The... Prime Minister, you know, we, we got a collaboration. He saw my channel. He said, hey, I like what you do. Let's talk. And I said, all right, Mr. Aizawa. Let's fucking, let's do this, bro. Japan, okay. I've been taking Japan through Duolingo, so I'm pretty fluent at it. That says postal code. Uh, it's a weird telephone. Anyways. As you can tell, LP record. Country of origin of the goods, China. So even though it's Japan, China's still making everything we do, bruh. So, you know, handy dandy spoon right here. Lucky star man to cover up my address. So let's just, let's just jump right into it. As you can tell, I paid 3,500 yen. Roughly equals to like 30 bucks, but the shipping was literally 30 bucks. So, you know, important documents. I really like the packaging, even if it's like just dumb, like just regular postal code packaging. It, it really, it's like a breath of fresh air. I don't know why. Maybe they only do this for international. I can't open it. That's why we got the spoon. Let's open this. Now, I don't know what kind of tape the, the Japanese use. It's some kind of like unga bunga tape because I cannot get through it with my handy dandy spoon. And, you know, me and that spoon, we're like bread and butter, you know? See, like, like, look, 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 look. It's fucking, and it's my spoon. Oh, wait, no, I got through it. Wait, yes, I did. Okay. Let's, uh,. Dang it. I'm just going to open it through the bottom. You know, that's the best. That's... Yeah. So, I was... I was always wondering, like, if we were going to get a new Wario Land game. I at least port Wario Land Shake It to, like, switch. Because I don't have a Wii. I mean, I had a Wii, but it's kind of dumb. Like, the controls are kind of gimmicky. I would like them to, like... Ooh, there we go. Yeah, but new Wireland game. Get on to it, Mr. Aizawa. President of Japan and Nintendo. What's the new Nintendo guy? Furukara? Okay. Invoice, beautiful. Okay, that's cardboard. I'm just gonna... I need like a, a GoPro or some shit because this is getting annoying. And I know, I know you guys noticed. I changed my braces. They actually got tight. They tightened them. So, you know, don't make fun of me. I'm, I'm already going through a lot. Don't make fun of my dirty room. I've been doing stuff, okay? I've been ordering vinyls. God. All right. Maybe I should change the light. How's, how, is that good? Okay, anyways. Yeah, um, I was on, I was on Alcest, you know, the, the, the black gaze, not black gaze, but black gaze, like, not G-A-Y, but G-A-Z-E, gaze, as in, like, gaze, I was on, I was on the, on the Alcest Instagram, and I was looking up, because I know they had a new release, and I was really fan of, uh, Kodama, or whatever the fuck. So I was looking into them, and I found that they had a new album a while back, but I was looking into them again, I don't know why. And I found that they had the new album shipped on vinyl, and they were like, oh look, it's the Japan version vinyl, and I was like, what? Maybe they have a US version? I couldn't fucking find it, so I just bought this. Later, uh, later I find out that if you look up 
spiritual instinct vinyl on Google. It's there. It's on Nuclear Records, and it was for far cheaper, probably like at most forty bucks plus shipping. But my dumbass, you know what? You know what? I want. I want the Japan edition. Look at that. Okay, and look at that seal. That's a that's a wild seal. Okay, uh, six songs, just like the last one, I think. I don't know. LP. So. There's a little star here. It means that it has passed the quality of approval by Aizawa, the president of Sony. Bro. Bro, I just, I've been talking to a paused screen, like, for three plus minutes. I, I'm kind of salty. Anyways. Bro, fuck, fuck, I'm, <sighs> anyways, this is what you get when you, like, don't want to edit, and you just, like, pause the screen, anyways, uh, splatter vinyl, cool, I'm kind of pissed, <clears throat> let's just try it out, I don't know how long it's been, like, paused, but, yeah, so putting it on my turntable, you can tell this is kind of a virgin vinyl as it's too tight for the spindle. If I push it down, it will go down, but I had this problem with the Roddy Gab vinyl that I bought and it, it'll cause a bunch of warping problems since this turntable is belt driven and if it has resistance from the spindle itself, it will start wobbling. Check it out. Or maybe not. I don't fucking know. But it happened with my Roddy Gab vinyl. So when I did that, started wobbling the tunes and all that. And I had to grab a knife and just carve the hole a little bit bigger for the vinyl. Or else I would not be able to enjoy it. This one seems to be fine. These strobe light markings here, the bottom one for 33 RPM. It's telling you that it's pretty... Uh much up to speed I guess um, if it was moving left or right really vigorously that means it's not up to speed and usually this pitch adjustment will help I don't know if this has a 33 trimmers on it but you know I usually just move it with the speed I don't want to move it now um, but yeah anyways that was your boy soul takers Six six five with another dirty, disgusting, nasty pill pillaging pillaging unboxing. Um, yeah, uh, all assessed spiritual instinct forever.